Dear friends, here we meet again. In the past I talked a lot about the air handling units, heat exchangers, air control philosophy, relative humidity. Today I would like to speak about uh, heating and uh, solar heater panel that help us to heat the domestic hot water and save energy. What you see in this picture is a boiler that makes you independent. You can run the boiler day or night. You don't need the sun to heat the water. These boilers can run on uh, oil, woods, gas, or any other, can be uh, even electric. I want to talk about this uh, solar panel. We need the sun to heat the solar panel and that will convert the sun's energy and will heat the domestic water. Sometime is raining outside so we cannot use the solar energy to heat the water or even in the night time there's no sun on the sky so technically speaking we cannot use this system to heat the domestic hot water in the winter we have to drain the system because the ice it's uh, expanding increases its volume and you can destroy the pipes of this uh, solar uh, heat exchanger how can we design a system to help us to save energy this is a combined system but please do not judge this schematic it is imperfect only shows you a little bit how is it working towards the end of this video i will be more detailed so this is a combined system is using a solar heater and a boiler as you'll see here we have a uh, primary buffer so the main water goes through the primary buffer first and then goes into the main buffer the primary buffer the water inside it is heated by the solar panel in the night time in a hot summer if the main water if it is very cold will still pass by through the solar heater panel even if the sun is not on the sky you will be a kind of uh, heat exchange if outside will be 25 26 degrees and the water will be a little bit warmer than normal but in the night time the water consumption is at minimum in the winter we have to make the system redundant we can use any type of uh, energy to heat the primary heater so the main water will push water through the primary heater straight into this uh, main heater tank but the solar heater panel will be made redundant and the system will be drained we don't want the ice to destroy the system now let's look a little bit closer to this uh, type of system what we seeing here we seeing the um, solar heat uh, heat exchanger the primary buffer the secondary buffer and the boiler you will also see the central heating but because we're not talking about central heating in this uh, video i just ignored it how the system will work the sun will heat the solar panel heat exchanger and the pump will circulate the water in a primary buffer the main water supply will only uh, replace the hot water into this uh, primary heat exchanger when the domestic hot water will be used until then the pump will only circulate the water through the heat exchanger to the solar heat exchanger brings it, bring it back into this primary buffer so it is like a ring circuit and this is an energy storage device progressively the water will heat into this primary buffer and then will migrate towards the main uh, buffer and the boiler will only have to raise the temperature from 40 degrees to 70 not from 7 this is uh, a good application this is an application in which you can save energy indeed so now let's continue our journey and uh, let's talk about the situation in which uh, 
the sun it is not on the sky or maybe we're in the winter if you look we have two automatic valves I mark them with a these valves one of them will redirect the main uh, water supply directly into the primary buffer and it will bypass the solar heater panel I will repeat that you have to drain the uh, solar heater panel in the winter to make sure the water will not ice up and it will destroy your tubes we all know that ice increase its volume so the main water supply goes into the primary buffer and then will go to the secondary buffer unfortunately in this case we will not save any energy because uh, the water the main water will keep its low temperature until it will reach the uh, main buffer and uh, the boiler have to undertake the 100% duty to heat the water as an example in our case here you have to bring the water from 7 degrees to 70 degrees so it's nothing we can do we can't save uh, any energy in this case in the case where people choose not to have a buffer this is mostly for domestic application where you do not use an excessive quantity of water if you want to use the energy uh, the solar uh, energy to preheat the main uh, buffer you have to make sure that uh, the boiler is not running uh, in that time because if the boiler will heat this buffer at 70 degrees celsius and you will circulate the ring circuit through the solar heater panel then the solar heater panel will act like a cooler because the boiler have much more capacity and uh, capability to heat the main buffer than the solar uh, heater panel and then just imagine the solar heater panel will only be able to provide you 40 or 50 degrees and the boiler will uh, heat the main buffer at 70 degrees then if you will circulate the ring circuit of the solar heater panel you will uh, heat the solar heater panel which will act uh, like a cooler and then you will lose uh, more energy than if uh, you wouldn't have the solar heater system fitted if you see uh, this uh, scenario this is a very uh, bad situation in which uh, a control system has been incorrectly designed wrongly designed and I found this in uh, some uh, commercial store I work people start working in the morning at six o'clock the Sun wasn't on the sky the heater panel was running the ring circuit and the boilers were hitting the main uh, buffer at 70 degrees so can you imagine uh, the main buffer was hitting the solar panel outside the temperature was about five degrees there was no sun on the sky and uh, the solar heater panel acted like uh, cooler and uh, the owner wasted a lot of energy warming up the planet somehow so um, that was a joke by the way so if you'll imagine you have a uh, hotel like this one and uh, your uh, <clears throat> employee come very early in the morning they start cleaning the kitchen they uh, preparing a lot of stuff so they need a the hot water maybe the buffers have some hot water um, left over night but uh, you need hot water because you have many rooms and maybe a lot of people will take shower or you don't know what happened you have to have permanent hot water in the night time the sun is not um, on the sky because the sun it is not on the sky you cannot use uh, the solar power to heat your domestic water obviously you have to rely on uh, 
your boiler. And it is very important if you have a solar heater system uh, that you will control it correctly. See, this is a bad scenario. Can you imagine you have an incorrect uh, running protocol and the boiler runs and it hit the buffer at 70 degrees Celsius in the night time. Now, uh, the solar heater panel pump, which uh, are moving water to the ring circuit, it's activated. Then the buffer will hit the solar heater panel and you will release um, energy in atmospheric. We all know the energy migrates from high to low. So you will hit the heater panel and you will waste a lot of uh, energy. You will pay more money than you even uh, done if you wouldn't have this uh, solar heater system fitted. So every time you want to use the boiler in the night time, you have to make sure that the pumps of the solar heating system will be turned off. You will not run the ring circuit. It is very important. If you use a buffer instead, you have a little bit of advantage there. The buffer, uh, the primary buffer, will have the capability to store energy. The, the moments when people are not using water into the hotel. So, um, you know, the main water is very cold and will displace the quantity of water used when people are using the domestic hot water. But if the water is not used and the sun is on the sky, you have the pump which uh, circulate the water through the solar heater uh, heat exchanger and brings it back into this primary buffer. This is a ring circuit and slowly slowly the primary buffer will reach a temperature 40 or maybe 50. So when the main water will push water through the solar heated um, heating panel into this uh, primary uh, buffer, the water will migrate into the secondary buffer and the boiler will only have to raise the temperature of the water from 40 degrees Celsius to 70, not from 7. And this is the point where you save energy because you do not have to bring the temperature from 7 to 70 degrees Celsius. You have to bring the temperature only from 40 degrees to 70. So you will gain about 33 degrees, which is about half of the energy you spend to bring the temperature of the water to the desired value. It is very important that you retain this. So this is the good uh, choice. Now if we we'll talk about uh, pasteurization for Legionella control, we all know that uh, Legionella dies if the water temperature will be increased uh, above 60 degrees Celsius. So uh, by working in industry, I always uh, I always brought the hot water tank temperature to 70 once per week to make sure that uh, the tank is free of Legionella. And for uh, this situation, you will see in this picture, I fitted a pump in between the primary um, buffer tank and the main buffer tank. So once per week that pump will be activated and the primary buffer tank will, will have its uh, temperature uh, boosted at 70 degrees Celsius. In that moment, the ring circuit which circulate the water through the solar uh, heater, uh, heated panel, it's off. I don't want to bring 70 degrees Celsius onto this solar um, heater panel. So... If someone will consume the water, it's okay. The main water supply pressure will push water through the heating, uh, to the solar heater panel, which will go straight into this uh, primary buffer. And then obviously it will go to the secondary. But um, I will not circulate the ring, uh, the water through the um, solar heating panel. The ring circuit will not be active. And uh, this uh, should happen mostly in night time when the water usage is uh, minimum. Hot water usage will be at minimum. 
and that will give you the possibility to keep your uh, primary tank uh, free of uh, legionella and uh, this is it if you will respect these simple rules you will have a great uh, solar heater panel you'll